Hi and welcome again to the channel. On today's video will be a full mix breakdown for an artist called Beats. This is a song that we recorded to a two track beat, which is actually an MP3. And I will show you guys what it to the beat to actually control the low end and make it fit into this record. <laughs> yeah, boy. But bear in mind to watch the full length of this video, you have to be subscribed to my membership only. This obviously helped the channel, but the first few minutes will be free for the public domain as usual. Let me not waste much of your time. This is Beats Motion. Let's get into it. Hi guys, so here we are inside the door to break down this mix by Beats, which is called Motion. So this obviously is the beat, as you can see, is an MP3 and then we recorded the vocal to it. I'll play this quickly so you can actually hear what it sounds like or should I say what we're working with. But I will say that from this that I'm playing now, the only thing missing to the released version is these two inserts, which is my hardware inserts, because currently I have these two hardware inserts that I always use on my mixing, on the mix bus, obviously. First one is the SSL bus compressor 500 series. I'll put a photo of it. Then the second one is the Fusion, SSL Fusion, which I'm only mostly using three modules on it, which is actually two modules, just the EQ, which is two band EQ, and the high frequency compressor. So the rest is, you know, the plugins, which is what we're going to listen to here now. Let's just listen to a bit of it and then I'll show you guys what I did. So apart from obviously the two hardware inserts, this is everything, which I will put a link to the final mix, you know, on the video description so you can hear what the hardware added. So the beat, like I said, this beat was an MP3 downloaded, you know, maybe online and then I tracked the vocal. On this occasion, you know, the last mix breakdown that I did, we used Aston Spirit mic, but that went into the Apollo preamp, which is Universal Audio Apollo Twin. But on this occasion, now we used an external hardware preamp, which is the Golden Age Premier 73, which is basically a uh, emulation of a Neve 1073 preamp. That's really a great sounding, you know, cheaper option to get in the real Neve 1073 because I've obviously heard a little bit about it previously and I was quite impressed with how close it is to the real thing. That's why we went for it. So I'll show you guys what I did to the beat as well because this beat, when I listened to it, especially on my subwoofer, you notice that the low end was literally all over the place. It needed taming. So we did that with Pro Q3 and also some harshness was obviously solved with just Pro Q3. So let me first start with this. This is the intro. Let me solo it. Going through the motions, man. Just keep on smiling. You notice this kind of a uh, dreamy and uh, panning happening to it. So what did we do? The first thing is obviously, you know, auto tune access, you know, fast, and then a bit of humanizing medium. You have to obviously put your key. This was E flat major. That went into ensemble. This is a free plugin that I actually use on a lot of things and it's really good. It's part of the kilohertz uh, free bundle. So if you download it, there's a lot of plugins there, but this one and a couple other ones actually, you know, my little secret that I use, you know, to source up things. <laughs> yeah, boy. So just six vocal detuned at uh, 15%, spread 50%, makes 45%. So let's just hear what I added. Going through the motions, man. Just keep on smiling. Without it. Going through the motions, man. Just keep on smiling. So you notice that it actually added a lot of, uh, you know, stereo width to it and also pushed it a bit back. Going through the motions, man. Just keep on smiling. So that's followed by a delay, which is the, you know, Waves H delay. This is a... Uh, 
you know, one over four, forty-one percent on the feedback. There's a bit of high pass, high pass here, low pass there, and turning this analog off, which adds noise. Then on the mix knob, you know, dry and wet, we have it at fifteen percent. Hey, 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 hey. going through the motions, man. Just keep on smiling. So now you hear the echo, you know. Then it goes into tremolo. Tremolo is what you, you know, see panning it left to right. This is stock logic tremolo. Obviously, there's a lot of good tremolo out there, but this one I think is, you know, really, really great. So depth 80%, one over four as well, because, you know, our H delay is one over four. So I need to obviously maintain that. Going through, going through the motions, going through man. The motions, man. Just keep on smiling. So there you go. As you can see, that's moving it left to right. Obviously, now added a bit of an EQ to sort of shape it not to be too bright. High pass at 202, you know, just low shelf the highs or high shelf, but you know, pushing it all the way down minus 11.9, which you could say minus 12 to be fair, at 6 9k, which is 6900 hertz. Yo, 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 going through the motions, man. Just keep on smiling. So that's it. Obviously, after that, I just send it to Boss One, which is my lead vocal. This is the lead vocal that I used on this, you know. So after this, I sent it to that, and it's now getting a couple more treatment from that. So that's what we did to this intro. And now, if we just, you know, hit that beat and then we will go to this uh hooks so this is the beat this is what we do to it as you can see if you look at this plugin it's really you know sort of you know you think wow so all this was done to this beat but like i said mixing is not one size fits all just do whatever you're gonna do to get you the result that you want so I feel like, let's just listen to the beat actually. Maybe let's listen from here. Cause there's where that low end come in and here. Let's bypass it. 